Okay, so I've been using Word for a very long time. Until I was watching a physics video and I came across this thing called LaTeX. Basically, this guy was using some typesetting software and I had no idea what it was. I thought Word was the best way to do things. Little did I know that this LaTeX thing is the best way to write dissertations, PhDs or whatever the fuck, do your homework, if, especially if it's math related, and basically everything else related to making PDF documents. And since Word charges $150 a fucking year, and since I'm starting university soon, I thought this video would be a helpful video to make. So due to my geeky ass, I came across LaTeX. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to be the most efficient note taker in the world. Fucking notability fact. Okay, first, let's go through the steps. Now, there are many things you need to install. There are many LaTeX editors you can use, like Overleaf, Tech Studio, or whatever. But the best one is Visual Studio Code, because it allows you to use Vim, which is something I'll talk about later. I know, this is heavy geek shit. But if you invest a little bit of time into this, into learning this, into setting this up, and practicing this, it will make your life so much easier, right? It's like, remember when you learned to type? It's like typing with eight fingers was such an alien concept. But once you started doing it, you just became so much faster with your typing. This is like the next logical end to that. Basically, with things like Vim, you can move the carrot without having to lift your fingers off the keyboard. With LaTeX, you can type equations without having to lift your fingers off the keyboard. In Word, you have to type add equation and shit like that. Okay, okay, okay. Enough bullshit. Let's get into how to actually do this shit. And then you will see how epic it really is. Okay, so first of all, these are the things you'll need to install. First, you have to install MakeTech. Uh, this is just a simple installation. It takes time, but it's just simple. You just click it, you open the launcher, and you click next until you get to click finish. Then you have to download Perl. Now, you need to download this because this will allow you to use the LaTeX workshop in Visual Studio Code. Without Perl, it just doesn't run. I don't know why. Now, you can get Active State Perl because it's apparently better for beginners, but it requires you to sign up. So we're just going to get the strawberry one. Again, same thing. You download the installer and you just click finish until it is done. Now you need to get Visual Studio Code. Again, it's just a simple installation procedure. You just download the little launcher, click next until you can click finish, and you're done. And that is pretty much it. After you've installed these things, the rest is just configuring shit and setting shit up which I will show you how to do. Okay, now we are to the setting up part, which I guess is the most complicated part, but it's not that complicated. It's pretty simple and straightforward. All the sophistication is already done for you. So once you download it, you pick the dark theme, of course, and then you click this thingy right here, the extensions part. Uh, if you click it again, it goes back. So you click it and you have to download these three extensions. Download this one, the LaTeX Workshop, download Prettier, which is a code formatter, and then download Vim. This is the thing that allows you to control the carrot without lifting the keyboard. Now, after you downloaded these three extensions, you have to come to the settings JSON file. In order to open this, you can press Control P, do this arrow thing and type up settings, and then you can go open settings JSON, or you can go file, preferences, settings, and then you can press this page, whatever here, and it opens. Okay, so once we're in settings JSON, what you need to do is just paste all of this shit, okay? This right here, this will allow you to go into normal mode pressing the keys you want. So by default on Vim, you have to press escape to go into normal mode. But now, after we put these little lines, we can just press KJ really quickly, and then we can control the carrot using the commands that Vim has. So this is an extra command you'll need to put in. Now we need to go over to the keybindings.json to just add a few extra keys that allow us to do things like shift the workbench without lifting our fingers off the keyboard as well. Again, in order to find this, you press Control P, this arrow thing, and keyboard shortcuts. And then you that'll open up. Once this opens up, you just paste all of this. I have commented this out for now because this interferes with the tab stops in snippets, which is another thing I'm going to show you how to do. Now, in LaTeX, in order to type basic things, so to print the PDF that just says these words, you have to print all of this. And this is tiresome, right? So instead of having to do all this, we can just make a snippet. So I've made one right here. If I press this, it prints out all of that. And I can delete it quickly because I use Vim, because that's what real chats do. 
So to make snippets, you this is how you do it. So again, in order to find this, you just press Control P, the arrow thing, and then you just type snippets, and then configure user snippets, and then you can just click a new global snippets file. I've already made one, and I called it global snippets, so I'm just going to open that. Now this is roughly how you do snippets. So first you come up with a name for the snippet. I have called mine basic article because that's the basic article temp. This is the basic article template. And then after that, you come up with a scope. The scope determines which language the snippet applies to. This is .tex, so it's going to apply to all text documents. Then after that, you do the prefix, which is what you have to type in order for the snippet to come up. So that is B article for me. I press it and it comes up. And then after that, you actually put the snippet. Now, you'll notice that in here, there's one slash and it's a bunch of lines. You cannot just copy this and just paste it into the quotation marks. No, this is actually an array of lines that have to be printed. So in order, you can see the array syntax right here. And what you have to do is each line needs to be in its own quotation marks with a comma followed after it. And the language, the way the language works in this is two slashes equal one slash. So in order for it to actually print one, you have to put two. You cannot just put one because if you put one, then it's just going to do some BS. So after you wrote one, you copy each line manually and you put it into this. Now I'll leave this in the comments for you so you don't have to type this shit. Now there's another cool thing you can do with snippets, which I'll show you right now. So I can edit this part and when I press tab, it hops me to the other part by itself. So I don't actually have to go into Vim and then move it here or use the mouse like a true fan. And in order to do that, you need to do, you need to use tab stops. So you'll notice over here, there are some notes. And this basically tells you how to do it. So I have done it here already. So over here, this is the first tab stop. This is where the caret starts. Use the dollar sign, the curly bracket, and inside it you put one, indicating the first one, colon, and then you write the filler word. So this is the stuff that'll be highlighted and overwritten when you start typing. The two, same thing. So this is the first one, this is the second. I'll show you. I'll show you again. So it starts over there. I don't want any extra packages. I press tab and I can start typing over here. So all these things will allow you to become fast as fuck, fast as hell. You can put your own snippets. So I have started making a snippet for basic graphs over here because in LaTeX, making graphs also requires many lines of code. And again, the reason LaTeX is better is because you can customize everything and make things the way you want. And the reason this environment with VS Code and the Vim emulator is better is because these things allow you to do it very quickly. So please invest a little bit of time and learn how to do this bullshit. Trust me, it will reward you in the long run. And remember, fuck Microsoft.